One more quick video, first uh, trying out of the nebula armor with the pillar events, um, compared to with the spectra armor. In the spectra armor with the hood for healing, I had tons of healing, no problem at all. Although, well, it went down to 300 sometimes if I got careless. Um, now, uh, the first pillar, I finished that one, and with the nebula armor, I have to fly around all the time trying to keep my buffs up. But um, it is still, I mean, even if you lose a buff for a little bit, you can collect a bunch of new power ups. You have to move a lot and uh, have those power ups in your mind all the time. But the sum of them seems to be quite alright. Um, so you can watch my life bar and mana bar and see for yourself how well it works within one pillar. Okay, I also got I uh, also got the healing boosts here from mana boost, so it's uh, not the ideal demonstration. Okay, here yeah, power up. I won't even try to time them, you know, like to save them up and collect them when my buffs run out. No point in that. Yeah, so this works like with the other pillar, but I noticed not really a problem mana-wise or health-wise. That idea if the power up is underwater. Okay, so I also noticed that this is my, does so much damage, so downing the pillar is actually quite speedy. Yeah, so, yeah, so in cases like this where you have plenty, plenty of targets, this is really fun. I'll see you later. It might not be that fun if you were. Uh, do that in situations where there aren't that many targets because then those buffs might run out all the time. On the other hand, if you don't have so many targets, um, you probably also get hit less and you don't need to have the buffs at uh, level 3 stacked all the time. Okay, that was that. I think the next video will be the Moon Lord fight. Bye! Okay, one more pillar. I'm gathering new experiences all the time. Um, the mana rack of the nebula armor caused my razor blade typhoon to almost not deplete mana at all. Because the mana rack is happening all the time, not just when you stop shooting. So it, it never goes uh, below this area here. So I thought, let's try the Luna Flare, which is an absolute mana burner and see how that works. And I will use that as soon as I have a good power up level because in the beginning I would just drain my mana. And also a real test for healing here because this is the uh, melee pillar which is very dangerous. They hit very hard for casters. Okay, let's see. Also interested, be interesting to see how many of those power-ups spawn. I mean, if I if the power-ups spawn at left there, and I'm fighting here now, I need to spawn enough so that I get a good supply. Ooh, half health already. Okay, let's see. And this is at a difficulty because. Uh, aim this stuff. And where are the power-ups? Hello, power-ups. Yeah, see, this is difficult now. I have to aim and... I cannot just let the razor blade do its thing and then... Uh, just look where the power-ups are. I have to really work to generate those power-ups. See? And that's it, empty. 
this I can just keep firing. down there, that's the dragon's work. Yeah, that of course is the ideal weapon, you know, for the pillar bombing with Luna player. Okay, that's that. And the main Moonlord fight will be in the next video. Until then.